The first part of this video will provide you with instructions on how to change your elastomeric pump after the first one is empty. The second part of this video will show you how to remove your peripheral nerve block. You will do this once your elastomeric pump is empty or at the time instructed by your care team. It may be helpful for an adult responsible of your care to do these things for you. If you need to change the elastomeric pump, you will need to gather a few alcohol swabs and a sealed plastic bag. There are five easy steps to change the elastomeric pump. Step one, wash your hands thoroughly with hand soap and water or a sanitizer for 20 seconds. Step two, clean both the connection of the present bottle and the new bottle connection tip with an alcohol swab. Step three, remove the new bottle tip by twisting off the cap. Step four, disconnect the catheter by twisting off the connection and connect the catheter to the new bottle catheter using a twisting motion. Step five, place the bottle in a sealed plastic bag and discard in the garbage. To remove the peripheral nerve block catheter, you will need to gather a compress, alcohol swabs, a dressing type band-aid, and a sealed plastic bag for disposal. Make sure you sit in a comfortable position. There are 10 steps to remove the nerve block catheter. Step one, wash your hands thoroughly with hand soap and water or sanitizer for 20 seconds. Step two, wet your dressing using the alcohol swabs provided for easier dressing and tape removal. Step three, remove the tape, compress or dressing covering the catheter insertion site. Step four, firmly grasp the catheter close to the entry site. Step five, pull the catheter away from the skin. There is about five centimeters of plastic catheter to remove. Removing the catheter should cause minimal to no discomfort. Caution, if there is a lot of resistance, the catheter is difficult to remove, stretches, or if you feel increased pain, stop pulling, retape the catheter, and call the number given to you on your discharge form. Never cut the catheter. Step six. After catheter removal, you may have some clear drainage or some small amount of blood at the insertion site. This is completely normal and nothing to worry about. Place a compress on the insertion site and apply pressure with your hand until the bleeding or discharge stops. Step seven, cover the dry site with a small dressing. Keep it for 24 hours. Step eight, after catheter removal, verify that the catheter tip is intact by checking that the color marking black, blue, or other is present. Take a picture of the tip as the care team may ask you to see it. Caution, if the color coded marking is absent, call the number given on your discharge form. Step nine, Place the catheter dressing and pump in a sealed bag and dispose of it in the garbage. Step 10. Wash your hands. The pain may increase slightly up to six hours after catheter removal. Remember to continue taking your medication regularly, especially acetaminophen like Tylenol, and the anti-inflammatory like ibuprofen, celecoxib, or naproxen. You may take opioid medication like morphine or oxycodone if the pain is so severe that you can't focus on anything else. Remember to use other options like applying ice or heat pack to help managing your pain. If you have any questions, 
please do not hesitate to talk with your healthcare team by calling the number provided in the discharge form given to you.